Wildcard released a community crunch a few hours ago, which has brought changes and a bit of new content. You will no longer be able to buy Arc ASA and Arc 2 in a bundle. You will now buy just Arc ASA with all the DLC included for $60. This does not include the new DLC they are releasing. To me this is good news, I was expecting either no change or something similar to what I suggested, but this is a good compromise. $10 more for everything is a great price. Comment if you disagree and why. As I thought, the plan to simply upgrade ASC was too complex, and if it went poorly there would be nothing to fall back on. In the community crunch, they did give a reasonable explanation, but with everything like this, there will be more factors that we don't get told, such as snail games needing more money. This is still not an issue to me, considering how massive an upgrade they are describing, doing this in ASC would be nearly impossible. They briefly mentioned ASC server sunsets, only to say that it hasn't changed. They are actually removing them prior to ASC release, which is actually worse in my opinion. A dynamic navigation mesh and pathfinding overhaul was announced, which if implemented correctly will be great, as creatures will do less dumb things and they will feel more intelligent and unique in the way they move. A photo mode was also included, which is a cool mode in the games that include it, so no complaints from me. Support for NVIDIA DLSS was also included. NVIDIA DLSS artificially increases resolution of images, so an arc would allow anyone with this technology to have a better looking game. I've seen a few people upset about that, specifically it being limited to NVIDIA, but I think that they might as well include it, and anyone without it have lived without it in other games. Dino and baby management quality of life has also been included, which could be a great feature, as managing them currently has been a pain. They haven't said specifics, so not much to go on. New snap points and logic improvements should help people to build and even make new possibilities. Again, no details, but I'm glad they are trying to upgrade some of the more annoying parts of ARC. Character creation and customization improvements are nice. I do really hope they keep the weird possibilities from ASC though. They have said cross-platform modding and multiplayer are at launch. I believe the multiplayer will be there, but I can't help but doubt they will finish modding. And there is still the issue I mentioned with Overwolf, and more of my research has suggested that it eats system resources, so it will be a lot slower. I really hope they address this, but it doesn't look like they will. They mentioned they may not hit their deadlines, but the features will come eventually. Not very reassuring, but at least they aren't lying. They aren't ready to show anything, so no images or trailers. I hope this is because the features they could show are not confirmed, and not that if they showed anything, it would look awful. They have announced that with every canon DLC drop, a community creature will also be included on the map. They have opened the one for Scottish Death, so go vote and submit. This is a nice way to change up the maps, adds a little bit of the TLC I was hoping for. I'm excited for what we choose, community votes always gets me interested. Overall, not a bad community crunch. Again, all just words, so we can't be sure about anything. If you disagree with what I've said, leave a comment so we can talk about it. Thanks for watching.